Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to teach you on how to host your MySQL server on AWS EC2 instance. Okay, so let's get into AWS console and start building this project. All right, see you in the AWS console. Right now, I'm in my AWS console. This is my home page. So first, let us go ahead and create an EC2 instance. Okay, so to do that, search for EC2. Click on EC2. Right now, if you see, there are zero instances that are running. Okay, so let us create a new EC2 instance. Okay, so click on launch instance. You need to fill up some basic details here. So if you do not know how to create an EC2 instance, I have explained in detail on how to create an EC2 instance in a separate video. You can go through that video and then start looking into this particular video. All right, so let me fill in those details. So I need to give a name to this EC2 instance. I'll give my SQL server all right so that is the name that I want then I'm going to select Ubuntu AMI that is Amazon machine image I'm going with Ubuntu instance type I'm good with t2.micro so if you want if you have some more budget you can go with another type of EC2 instance type all right key pair so it is used to log into the ec2 instance so i'm using this key pair i'll select that one rest of the things i'll allow security group ssh from anywhere okay so that is not recommended actually you need to give fine-grained access by specifying ip address and give the range of ip address but right now as this is a demo i'm allowing from anywhere all right so i'm good with all the details that we have filled right now all right so let me hit on launch instance so now if you see i've created this ec2 instance but the instance state is still pending so we'll come back when the instance state changes to running and the status check is two by two passed all right now if you see the instance state change to running from pending and also the status check is two by two passed right so the next thing that we need to do is to connect to this ec2 instance i'm going to use ec2 instance connect method so you just need to click on this connect button and select the first option that is ec2 instance connect all right so click on connect so this will establish a connection and you will be able to log into this machine in the web page itself all right so till then let us look into the detail steps okay so what i've done is i've documented everything into steps so whatever the things that we are going to follow today is documented as a steps it is a simple six step you need to follow I'm going to attach this link in the description box below. You can also use the same commands and test it out. All right. So these are the steps that uh, and these are the commands that I've used. Okay. So let's go back to the console and start using this command and we'll run this step. We'll go through these steps one by one. Okay. So let me come here. Now, if you see, so we, I've logged into this machine. Okay, so let me clear my screen so that it is visible for everyone. Okay, now I've logged into this Ubuntu machine. Okay, so the first step is to update the system. Right, if you see here, the step one is to update the system. So this is the command. Let me copy this command and paste it here. So basically, this will update the Ubuntu system. So it will take a couple of minutes. So let's wait for that to update. See now the system has been updated. Okay. So the next step, let's see what is the next step. 
need to install MySQL on this server. So the command to install is sudo apt install MySQL server. Okay, so let me copy this one. Before that, let me clear my screen so that it is visible to you. So I'll paste it sudo apt install mysql server hit enter so do you want to continue if yes type y and hit enter again it will also take certain minutes to uh, install the mysql server so let's give it some time to it All right, so now if you see this got installed okay so let me clear the screen again so let us see what is the next step so next step is to check if mysql server is active or not so the command to do that is sudo systemctl status mysql okay so let me copy and paste that here so that we can check the status if you see it is active and running since this day okay so 33 seconds ago that confirms that our mysql server is up and running without any error okay so let me clear my screen again so the next step is to log into this mysql server as a root user okay so the command is sudo mysql so i'll copy that and paste it again enter so now i am in my mysql server if you see this mysql uh, greater than symbol that means i am inside that mysql okay so now i need to change the password so that it will be available only for me okay so the step 5 is to update the password for the mysql server so the command to do that is a simple query mysql query the query is alter user root at localhost identified with mysql native password by and here you need to give your own password whatever that you want to use okay so let me copy this this first and change it in the console itself so i'll paste it before running please make sure to change your password okay so if and only if you are copying and uh, pasting from the web github page that i've given okay so the password that i'm using is admin at one two three four five six seven eight nine exclamation okay so uh, do not use this password in your production account and all so it is just to test so i'm going with this password okay after that hit enter if you see this query okay that means whatever the query that you ran that was succeeded okay so the next step is to flush the privileges that we are we were currently using okay so let me paste that query also so if you see query is okay the next the last step is to test the mysql server if it is working by uh, let us run some sample sql queries and see if it is working correctly or not okay so first let me create a database name uh, called mysql test okay so let me create that database i'll copy paste that see the query is okay and it created a database okay so let me go back to my page again sorry uh, i'm not navigating here and there it might confuse you but it is very simple so i'm going to provide this uh, link also in the description so that you can also practice well okay so now let us start using the database that we have just created so we have created mysql test so let us start using that database so the command is or the query is use mysql test okay so let me paste it here so if you see database changed that means we entered this particular database that we just created all right so let us see the next step 
the next step is to create a table and it is of type var char all right so uh, we have two entries there one is id and name okay so let us see, let us create this table first i'll copy that and paste it here hit enter and if you see query successful okay so the next step is to insert values into that table okay so let me insert that values so i have some added some dummy values here if you see uh, one vira two sachin three dhoni four abd so uh, i'm a cricket fan so i'm at, uh, adding so these values so you can add whatever you want okay so now if you see query is successful four rows affected and four duplicates okay records maybe Okay, so now let us see that table that we just created by using select star. Okay, so let me run that. If you see, this was the table that we just created. Okay, so if you are a cricket fan, please comment down below so if you liked my idea here. So if you see, ID 1 is Virat, 2 is Sachin, 3 is Tony, 4 is ABD, something like that. So if you want to go with something else, for example, if you want to add their jersey number as their ID, you can also do that. So you can do that and comment down below. All right. So this is perfectly working fine. So what we did in this video is we created an EC2 instance and we hosted a MySQL server and we tested if it is working fine or not. So as the result says, it is working fine, perfectly fine. So that completes our demonstration for today. All right. So if you like these kind of videos, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and share it among your friends so that it reaches to the maximum people. All right. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching.